Hello there, how are you today? This is a, a super boring get ready with me video. It's really just a hang out and visit video. Um, hair I have done nothing with and I'm not going to do anything with it today because yeah, it looks fine. It's, I'm not going anywhere today. I'm taking the dog for a walk. <laughs> That's it. I've got dog walking duties. Um, so why am I putting on makeup? I'm really not putting on much makeup. I'm putting on sunscreen and a couple of my favorite things that I just thought I'd visit with you. That's it. This is just a, hey, let's hang out for a few minutes. Um, yikes. A little moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer you like. I started using these Kula Drops. They sent them to me for free. Uh, but this isn't sponsored or anything. I'm not getting paid for it. They sent me these drops and it's really kind of fun because the moisturizer that I've been using, I've been using Metrin. They have a whole skincare line and the last step is number five, except it doesn't have sunscreen in it, which is great because I could just take my favorite moisturizer and boom, add sunscreen to it. Not that we have much sun lately in Playa Vista or I think most of California, it's really kind of cold this year. We are officially into summer and it's raining. So when you think, hey Monique, why are you not putting sunscreen on your chest? Because I'm going to have a wool scarf around my neck and a wool coat on when I go outside to take the dog for a walk. And the rest of me is just in my workout clothes because then later I'm going to work out. I have a little burn on my forehead right there. Hit it with the curling iron the other day. That's always fun. Oh, I forgot that I have a pimple patch still on my face. I guess I should take that off before going out in public. better. These things are a lifesaver. If you've never tried these patches for pimples and they have companies make patches for all sorts of things now and they're really really kind of nice. Okay I uh, wanted to tell you about something while I'm waiting for that moisturizer to sort of set in. I did a video a couple days ago. I actually shot the video a week ago and then it took me a long time to get it edited and up for you. In the video, I'll put a link to it right there. It was my Unicorn Glamour where I was getting ready for an audition. And I got turned on to this on set. It's called Tancho. When you look it up on Amazon or when you see it at the beauty supply, it's Tancho vegetable pomade, and it smells like lavender. It looks like a deodorant stick, it smells yummy, but it's just this wax that is amazing for if you need to shellac your hair down. So when I do a ponytail, like if I pull my hair into a ponytail, I have all these little tiny wispy hairs all over the place. If I take this and just like run it over, those hairs are flat, 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 and they stay put. I was amazed when I made that fake mohawk how well it stayed. And do you know what? Do you know that I've not had my light on the entire time we've been shooting this video? So I'm gonna turn the light on and hopefully it looks better. And do you know when I'm going to get to see that? I'll see it when it's all put together and I'm editing it, because I can't see. I shoot everything blind, you guys. Okay. This is uh, Total Eye by Color Science. I love Color Science products. I have been buying Color Science products for a gazillion years. I've been a huge fan of their products. This was sent to me for free, and I think it's awesome. It is an under eye concealer that has also got sunscreen in it. And it reduces swelling and this applicator tip is so cool. And I mean that literally, it feels icy cold. So it reduces swelling as you're putting it on. It is the best feeling stuff.
Here's another one of my favorites. This is a recent favorite and wow, it seems like most things I'm talking about in this video were sent to me for free and that wasn't really my intention, but sorry. Some things were sent to me for free, some things I paid for. It's kind of all over the place. This was sent to me for free. It's called a water stick and it is just this little tiny bronzing stick. But this is nice when you want to look like you've had a little color without getting any color. And if you want to, you can even use this like, like an eyeshadow. Just tap a little on, give you a little depth, a little color. I should go left-handed when I do that eye, but, but I am severely right-handed. And it actually does feel wet. It feels like water going on. It's really interesting. And then just a little bit of a dark shadow right around the lash line, because I don't feel like putting on mascara, but I just want a little bit of definition. So this is color science as well. my no makeup makeup for going and taking the dog for a walk and then later I'm going to work out because today that's all I'm doing I have had a lean couple of months I had an amazing April if you haven't seen the April catch-up video I'll put the link to it right there tell you all about all the projects I had going on in April the uber spot the Wayfair spot uh, I told you about the Halsey music video that I did that I was so stoked to work on and then I was so heartbroken that I was completely cut out of it. I was nowhere visible in it and I was just, oh, you know, and you shouldn't cry about such things, but I do, I do. Um, you know, it was, it was a really amazing day for me and I really wanted to sort of like be able to remember it by seeing it but they did have a behind the scenes video and you can see me for half a second way 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 deep in the background I hadn't even seen it but my boyfriend Howard saw it and he commented he's like I didn't know you could move like that are you not aware that you're 53 years old you probably shouldn't move your head like that he was choking of course because we love to go out dancing and he knows how I can move. <laughs> but uh, if you want to check it out, it is a, as much as it broke my heart to not be included in the finished product, I did really, really love the experience. So you should check it out if you get the chance. But yeah, May was, from a work standpoint, pretty dismal. I didn't have any work in the month of May. And the month of June, I had one job. So, yeah. I am, um, I actually just signed up this morning for something called Cameo. And it's where actors and athletes and public figures can make videos for people on request. Like, say it was, uh, say your cousin Frank was a fr fan of mine from my movies back in the 90s. You could buy a 
video for Frank for his birthday and, and I'd wish him a happy birthday and, and you know, you'd say, oh, Frank likes fly fishing and, you know, his dog bandit goes on his fishing trips with him and I would say, you know, hey, Frank, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I hear you're gonna go fly fishing. Take bandit. You guys are gonna have a blast and I know you're gonna catch lots, lots of fish and I am expecting a fish fry soon or whatever. Um, my friend Bobby Ray uh, turned me on to this. He was on the, the TV show, The Office, Robert Ray Schaefer, and he started doing it. And he's like, you know, this is a nice little gig. It, it, it helps pay the bills. And then I told my friend Kelly Maroney, who was on Fast Times at Ridgemont High, I told her about it and it's done well for her. And so I thought I'd just sign up for it myself. So I've got to shoot an introductory video and yeah, I don't feel like I need to be painted all up. I feel like this is enough for an introductory video because if I'm making videos for, for people on the fly, they may catch me like this and I don't want to disappoint. <laughs> so that's a little thing I've got going on. My movie that I am in, Cuck, is going to get a limited theatrical release. Cue the sirens. Yes, it is very exciting. We'll wait for the sirens. So yeah, Cuck is getting a limited theatrical release October 4, and that is literally all I know right now. There was an article in Deadline Magazine, and I will drop a link for that down below. Uh, but super stoked about that. It'll be fun to have a movie that I can just like go to a movie theater and see. Even if it is only for one week or three days or whatever it means when they say limited theatrical run. I'm excited about that. Oh, we went to a barbecue at YouTube Space LA. It was, it was fun because um, being a YouTuber, I get invited to YouTube Space LA for things periodically, and a lot of times they invite me to things that, you know, how to do virtual reality or 360 video, and a lot of it is gaming and, and stuff that I just, it's beyond my capability of understanding and it's beyond my needs. I don't think I need to do a whole virtual reality for a makeup video or in this case, a just hang out and catch up video. But we went to this barbecue and what was super fun about that was we walked. We, we had looked up the location and we looked at where the parking structure was and we went, okay, it's a nine minute walk from the parking structure to the, the party. And then I went, I looked at the map and I went, wait a minute. I did a little, you know, Googling navigation stuff. I went, you realize this is a 10 minute walk, a nine minute walk from where we live. So we walked and that made it really, really fun to just sort of walk over and be at YouTube Space LA and they had this this music jam where they were inviting anyone who plays a musical instrument, I do not, inviting them all up on the stage to, to jam and, and it was just a fun party and there was a good barbecue and just a really interesting creative environment and that was a lot of fun. Uh, what else is interesting going on in my life? Not all that much. I have an audition tomorrow, nothing today. Just going to the gym today, taking the dog for a walk, going to the gym, editing this video and putting it up for you. Uh, yeah, I just mostly I really wanted to, a lot of people didn't see the link for this and I didn't really talk about it when I made that video last week and it is a good product and so I wanted to bring some attention to it. And this is not a free product. This is a product that I bought. And I bought this product probably two years ago. And I still have, I've used this much of it. 
so a little less long time so this is a good one if you've got super short hair and you need to like get it to lay down because you have like if you're growing it out or something and you have that place that sticks out or I guess I could just you can see it just it will take all those flyaways out it's gonna be a bad hair day if I do that that's cool but you can see it's really good for smoothing. I don't usually use it on my hair when my hair is down because my hair is very baby fine and very flat as it is. So what you just saw me do, I never do that. But every time you see me with a slicked back ponytail or something where it's really sleek, this is what I use and I got turned on to this on movie sets and I'm turning you on to it. It's like 10 to 14 bucks. I've seen it in that price range, but it is super handy to have. And honestly, that was the main point of this video is so many of you asked and I just wanted to tell you rather than typing it up over and over and over and leaving you with a question, I'll put a link to Amazon, but you can probably find this at any beauty supply. I probably shouldn't gesture with that hand because I'm trying to light the background and that creates a, which I just saw when I was editing something and you'll see more of that. Always a learning process. <laughs> anyway, I have my minimal makeup on and I am ready to bundle up and go outside and walk the dog. And oh, another funny thing. I'm just scattered today. Have more coffee, Monique. When I was out, you saw me out walking the dog in that unicorn glamour video. Well, I had gone to my audition. Oh, and by the way, before anybody else asks, no, I did not get that part. Now you know why I don't like it when I have to. I mean, it's, it's not that I don't like it. It's, it's a... It's a way of pervert, preserving sanity. When you get as much rejection as we get as actors, you have to learn to save your soul. And my feeling on auditions is that I walk in and I do the very best that I can. And when I walk out, I try to forget that it ever happened because if I think about all of the no's, I will get depressed. I will become down on myself. I've watched it happen with too many other actors. I, I really try to watch that for myself. That is how I've survived this business for 30 years. And I think that's kind of a good way for many of us to live. Don't sweat what you cannot change. Gosh, hmm, sounds like a serenity prayer to me, hmm? Really? You walk in, do your very best, and walk out and forget about it. Because sometimes the reason you don't get the job, the second date, the whatever, might not be because you're not the best. It could be because they had some other reason that had really nothing to do with you. Like, you know, I've not gotten the part because, well, everybody else they cast is over six feet tall. And then me down here at 5'4", I look ridiculous. Um, I cast, I, I don't get cast in something where they decide they want to go of a little more ethnic. Well, ethnic is not something I can play. But you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't beat yourself up for the things that you cannot change. Do what you can, when you can. Do as much as you can. Always do your best, but sometimes realize that you might not be perfect for everything. And be kind to yourself. So yeah, that's why I don't really talk about all my auditions. I don't tell you every single audition that I have because I don't wanna hear, how did it go, how did it go? 
because then I would have to say to each and every person that I said, hey, I have an audition, and then each and every person who says, hey, how did it go? Then to each and every person I have to say, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I didn't get it. And if I have one audition and I have to say 30, oh, I didn't get it, that's heartbreaking. So I just forget it ever happened. So thanks for asking. I didn't get it. I'm not gonna get all of them. I do get a good amount and I'm really ready to get something soon. So maybe the audition I go on tomorrow is it. Cause you never know. You never know. Any day, things can turn. Started to tell you the story and then I got, then I spaced out and started doing other things and I kind of forgot to tell you the whole story. So after I left that audition, the Unicorn Glamour audition, I left, I came home, dog had to go, go for a walk, he had to go potty. So I just harnessed him up and took him outside and I walked down the street and I walked down, turn the corner, and I walked down the other street, and I was just turning the corner, and Howard pulled up. He was coming home from work, and he saw me, and he started laughing so hard. He pulled over, and it wasn't even a, it was a no parking zone. He pulled over, and he jumped out, and he's like, I have to see this. This is amazing. I love this. He just raved about the outfit. And he's like, well, we gotta, we gotta shoot some video. Let's shoot some video, just like walking around. I'm like, okay. So we shot some video walking around. And <laughs> I can only imagine what the neighbors thought. The UPS driver was like, oh my gosh, your hair is amazing. Uh, yelling out of the UPS truck, that was so funny. Uh, but yeah, that was just, taking the dog for a walk and and somebody said he should have had a blinged out collar and he should have had some pink on and if I'd given it any thought I certainly would have done that but yeah he just you literally caught me just taking the dog for a walk it was spontaneous and unplanned and uh, just a wonderful serendipitous moment by the way that is one of my favorite words in the world serendipity I love saying it and I love what it means. So I hope that you have many serendipitous things that happen in your life today or this week or this summer or this life. So this was a super rambling, not really doing anything video where I just wanted to tell you about this uh, the vegetable pomade and share with you some of my favorite Oh, I don't really have any makeup on makeup things that I do. Yeah, it's really not even worth doing a video about this because it doesn't look like I have on any makeup, but I look just a teeny bit better than I did before. I hope. <laughs> I love you bunches. You have an awesome rest of your day. I will talk to you very soon. Are you gonna go mountain climbing? Mountain climbing, climb the berm. Oh, it's very exciting. He loves climbing these berms. And, you know, doing what dogs do. <laughs> you can see it is not a very nice day. We have not seen much sun in California lately or certainly not in Playa Vista lately. It's been very gray, very cold. At least it stopped raining. I want sunshine.